The dismissed petition was filed by National Unity Platform candidate Fred Nyanzi Sentamo with his lawyers citing several irregularities in the declaration of Muhammad in Sereko. Amongst them included forging of result forms, malpractices, intimidation among others during the election process. In his testimony, Nyanzi told court that some of the presiding officers denied his agents access to 53 voting areas, including Summit View, Nakasero 1 and 2, Hoima Flats, among others. While delivering her ruling, her justice Esther Nansambu said that although Nyanzi filed the application within stipulated time of seven days as required by law, he never consulted the returning officer before he chose the court action. No good cause has been shown and is insufficient and irrelevant evidence adduced, mostly hearsay, and that at this stage, the application for the good recount of Kampala Central Constituents, Constituents of this year by this list, the post Justice Nansambu dismissed the case and ordered Nyanzi to pay all the costs that Nsereko and his lawyers have suffered. However, Nyanzi's lawyer said that they are not satisfied with the ruling and are going to appeal. So we are going to challenge still the election in the High Court where we believe we shall even table more evidence regarding all the malpractices which could not even be tabled in this court. And we believe that we shall be able to convince court to annul the election and uh, seek the by election. Sereko alleges that Nyanzi is being paid by some people to tarnish his name. However, he must pay the costs before Monday next week polling evidence of polling stations where I lost myself. So, who does he work for? He must explain to this nation. Who does he work for? What, has he, what are his intentions? Because if we're a joint opposition that is coming out to unify the country and speak one language, what is the intention of this gentleman? Is he looking for a job? Probably someone should give him something to do. Otherwise, he's a real spoiler. He's doing these things intentionally. He has people using blackmail on Facebook and insulting people whom he pays and I can tell you without fear of contradiction Nyanzi must pay for the costs of this petition because this time Westerners think they'll be dragging people to court spoiling their names on media and outside there for the people just for their own benefit to keep themselves relevant in the constitutional electoral process I would like to reiterate that this victory is well earned it's well thought the courts have reached up to a rightful judgment just like they were happy when the recount was turned down in Masaka, why would they come here knowing that the boxes could have been actually tampered with, probably? And he has been working with state agents. I asked him, where are the declaration forms of your brother at the Tali Center? He didn't have any. And I dare him, let him produce just one or two or three. He didn't. It's a man looking for a job. I contested with him in 2016, and he was in the NRM primaries looking for the same position. So he's a man just looking for a job, not looking to serve. And like I'm reiterating, this wasteful things he's doing, he must pay for them. He must pay me my, my costs, and I need them on Monday. On Monday. And whatever vice agents and messengers he has been sending to plead and say, please don't take costs from him, that is, that is out of the box. I can tell you, he's continuously insinuating lies, defaming me. I need these costs. Wherever he will go, we shall find him there in court and defeat him. But for these costs, he must pay them. And I'm pleading to court, going back to fix an application for the cost. I'm pleading to court that he must pay these costs within four days. Maximum. 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 So, to all our countrymen, our race for deputy speaker still continues. We deserve your prayers. We love you all. Thank you, the people who are yeah. in Kampala. Thank you, honorable comrades. For TV Africa News, Nalgo Muyingo reporting.